My life has finally exceeded my wildest dreams. Ask yourself this question. What are you willing to do to take your dreams and bring them to life? Over the last five years, this has been my obsession. My name is Marcel Klein. I'm 23 years old, and I wanna give you a glimpse of what it takes to build the dream. A dream that at the beginning, only I could see. What if you knew that time was on your side? I always ask myself, what's the shortcut to success? The answer lied with who I needed to become. How did I have to think? How did I have to feel? And when I got clear on exactly what I wanted, I became exactly who I needed to be. Let's rewind a few years. June 24th, 2017. That's funny because this is my first seminar. And I have maybe, right now I have four people here. I think maybe five or six more are coming, if that. Um, this is the setup. And uh, the reason I'm recording this is because it was a free seminar. And it's a really nice place. Whatever. But I'm recording this because I know that my next seminar is going to have a little bit more, but eventually my seminars are going to cost a lot of money. And people are going to pay to come see me. And the ones who had the opportunity to do it for free didn't give it a chance. So I'm recording it. Talk about that. So this is for future me. I'm motivated today. I'll be motivated then. Keep it up. Where you are today is a result of everything you have done up until now. Every single day, every action, every single speech. I knew no matter what, I was gonna live life on my terms. I was determined to create unshakable confidence. It's when I started to love myself, others began to love me. Anything you chase in the wild runs away. I stopped chasing and I started attracting. I became the magnet that turned my thoughts into reality. When I started to focus on me, everything came to me. I believe happiness lies in being able to make progress on what you want. My journey consisted of some of the highest highs and some moments, my lowest lows. The pain so great, it would radiate through my very soul. But through great suffering comes unbelievable strength. My whole life, I heard that it was not possible. Today, I hope to inspire you and reassure you that no matter how big your vision, if you set your mind to it, you stay at it no matter what. I'm fucking excited, dude. Where are we? I'm Daisy. And promise yourself. April 15th, Miami, 2021. That you are willing to pay the price for success. Your dreams will one day come to life. On your journey, the lessons you will take, the stories you will tell, and the memories you will make are the key ingredients that make the result so rewarding. I don't just have a story about success, I have a recipe for it, and I want to share it with you. No more failure, no more doubt, just focus, persistence, and strength. Let me be evidence that against all odds, your dreams can become reality. But the dream you want to build starts the moment you wake up. Stop. First thing I do when I wake up is meditate immediately. I focus on what I want and I prime myself for the day. I believe this meditation technique is largely responsible for where I am today. I like to leverage the fact that when I first wake up, I'm still in a light meditative state, or as I like to call it, hypnosis. This allows me to immediately start reprogramming my mind and I'll be dropping this powerful technique on my channel, so make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. After about 10 minutes of meditating, I head to my closet and I get ready for the gym. I go to the gym seven days a week. 
At this point in my morning, I go through a mental checklist. I begin with getting clear on what my goals are for the day. My schedule is usually very, very busy, so it's important I stay organized. I don't really have much alone time, so I use the gym as time to myself. I alternate between back, legs, and chest days with some other supporting muscle groups. I like to push myself even though 90% of the time <laughs> I don't really want to work out. I usually fast until about 1 p.m., which gives me more time in the gym. After the gym, I quickly shower and get ready because at 8 a.m. I train my team. When someone communicates to you, you are getting the blueprint for the what, whatever they need. Okay, their values are an emotion. So for example, I just want freedom, I want security, I want safety, I want love. In his case, he probably wants security, safety, freedom, because he's talking about finances, right? What were the notes on that call? I just, I want you to come, I want you to show up. I don't want anything to inhibit you from showing up to this. Uh, and I want you to change your life. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. So what, what card would you want to get your ticket under? Uh, it's gonna be a visa. A visa? Okay. Yeah. Four, three, one, four. Mm -hmm. After training the team, I usually take most of my one-on-one -on -one calls. I like to do this in the morning while I'm still sharp since most of these clients are extremely high-profile CEOs, athletes, or celebrities. So it's crucial I'm on my A-game. Yo, yo, my man. Hey, hey, what's up, buddy? Nothing much. How are you, bro? I'm good. Give me an update. Dude, I, I finally closed that deal. It's been, it's been a work in process. Oh, yeah? Closed. Yeah, yeah, finally, man. Good. All right. Good, what do you wanna work on today? Then I meet with my team executives. I think it's super important to have good communication within your team in order to hit specific goals. Hey guys, I wanna keep this meeting really brief, super to the point. You know, first of all, I appreciate you guys. I'm proud of you guys. You guys are doing amazing, really. Uh, Justin, give me a quick update. Are we on track for the quarter? Yeah, we're ahead of schedule. Okay, cool. So like I said, uh, let's just make sure that this week is better than the last and we keep moving forward. And Benny, uh, you have any updates? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's three of the guys who were late today, so I don't know how you want to handle that, but there was three of them that were late, so. Yeah, so uh, I think we should have a conversation with them, we'll give them yeah. a warning, if it happens again, we just pull their calendars, obviously, you know, we're interviewing 20, 30 people a week, so if we need to replace people, we will, I hope we don't have to, but let's get that done, yeah. make sure everyone shows, in tomorrow, shows up tomorrow, uh, 8 a.m., latest, I want them here at the latest. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I'll do a conclusive meeting at the end of the week and I'll have one-on-one -on -one meetings with you guys at the end of the day. Just kind of get some feedback, give you guys my feedback, let you know what's going on. Uh, let's stay on point, get back to work, and I'll see you guys later. Cool? All right. What's it like working for Marcel? Yeah, uh, mate, it's a lot. <laughs> he's, 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 he is a lot at times. You know, sometimes he'll call you at 2 a.m. or whenever he's, you know, whenever he's doing stuff. And um, you have to be all in. There's no, you know, one foot in, one foot in. Like with Marcel, you have to be obsessed with his business. It's a lot. Sometimes I don't even sleep because I have so much work that I got to get done. Um, but it's also a lot of fun. Like we get to have a lot of people and there's a lot of, you know, rewards for doing this. And he's a good guy. He's a fun guy to be around. So but my passion for it and my belief in the vision always pulls me through. I, I know that Marcel's helping people and he can help so many more people. You know, it, it, it's, it's the yin and the yang. There's a lot of good stuff. That's what pushes me through the hard work. And if we're not putting in the hard work, then we're not gonna see the impact in the world that we wanna have, that, w that I know we can have. Then around 1 p.m., I have my chef Abdullah come cook for me and the team. I'm not necessarily a fan of the food, but I'm on a diet, so <laughs> he has to cook for me. And uh, I usually end up cheating by eating out for dinner. My family is super important to me, so I make it a point to try and visit them whenever I can. And right now I can, so <laughs> I'm going to. And then I have a meeting right after that uh, with a former client of mine. I'm gonna check out his new house. He just bought a house, so that's awesome. And. Uh, I'll go say hi to my fam in the meantime. So I decided to take the McLaren today. It's a beautiful day. I just got it, so it's fun. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's sick. So this has been a dream car for me for a really long time. And I finally decided, I was traveling for like four months and when I came back, I finally decided to get it. That's what it sounds like.
<laughs> every time I turn it on. That's literally the feeling. So I'm gonna go see my parents now. Uh, hang out with my pets for a little bit, have that meeting, and then I got dinner later tonight. So we'll make it happen. A massive thing as well, which I think a lot of people may not know, is there, there's a huge aspect in having fun. Like you gotta have fun in your day to day. If you're not enjoying your days, what are you doing, right? I, I always tell people like, hey, you know, the most important thing you can do is literally enjoy your day. I think a really important part of a routine in order to keep it sustainable is to make sure you do it every day. Like, I want to enjoy my routine, right? So I want to make sure I have time to see my friends. I want to make sure I have time to see my family. And it's super important to me to do that. And also have fun, right? If you're not having fun, again, you're not going to sustain the routine. So I like driving. I like going out with my friends. I like dinners. Now, what I would encourage you guys to see is Obviously, you gotta make sure you're working. You shouldn't prioritize fun over work, but you definitely should also have balance and work. <laughs> so make sure you have fun. Look at this guy. <laughs> guy can't drive. <gasps> See ya. Coco! Hello! I have a pet monkey. Hi, my boy. Oh. Hi, my boy. Oh, he saw the camera, guys. <laughs> What's up, my boy? And this is Congo. It's my bird. It's my good boy. Well, obviously, nobody's home. My parents aren't home, so that's a that was a fail. <laughs> Hi, Congo. Good boy. This is my good boy. Come here. Come on. You trying to act cool, huh? You threatening everybody? What's up, huh? Look at this. <laughs> what sound is Congo making? <laughs> hey, what sound are you making over there? <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> what? What are you doing? He's afraid of the camera. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Congo. There you go. You know, a major, a major motivator for me was helping my parents out. So I actually bought this house for them a year ago, <laughs> actually almost exactly a year ago now. And, you know, like I said before, it's not what you do today. It's what you do every day. If you can get into a routine that you feel so good about, you're going to be able to do these things. And to me, this was one of my biggest motivators was to help my parents out. And to be honest, now they're doing whatever they want. Both my parents are extremely successful. So it, it was a gift I wanted to give them that I didn't need to give them, but I could. So that's, that's what happened. But I mean, it's beautiful. Look at the view. And it's a beautiful day today. I love LA. Honestly, I would not live anywhere else in the world, even though our taxes here are horrible. <laughs> I still, I love LA. What's up, buddy? Congratulations. It's been a while. Yes. Show me around. Absolutely. Um, Here's the garage. Oh, you finally got the Rari. It barely fits. <laughs> well, first of all, Alex, congratulations. You got a new place. You got the couple hundred thousand dollar Ferrari. You got the... There's a Range Rover. It's just not parked in there. Yeah. You got the Range Rover, right? And you have a girlfriend now. You know, you got the $3 million house, the mansion, it's massive. You guys can't, I'm not sure if you can see us on camera, but it's a massive, massive house. Uh, you can see by the size of the kitchen, you know? So let's just quickly recap. I mean, when I met you, where were you? He's down 200K. We just closed the previous business. Quite depressed, to be honest. Pretty much just alone. Just what like, did you weigh? Uh, oh, 250 pounds. And you were single? I was single. And, and you're, what was your confidence at the time? I was awful. Awful. And it didn't exist. That's it didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> well, enough confidence to reach out, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, he's so crazy. Out of all the people, he pretty much takes the last of his money, his savings, and he's like, Marcel, take the money. And I'm like, listen, man, I don't know how to feel about this. He's like, no, no, I need this. Trust me. I said, okay, let's go. So uh, I actually spoke to him while I was at Disneyland, I remember. Um, yeah, I, I wired you everything I had. I'm like, can I keep 5000 to pay for food for the month? <laughs> 
He's and, like, fine, all right, hold five. You just yeah. pay it like, next, like yeah. a week. I'm like, all right, I got it. I'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah. So we worked together for about five months. And uh, where are you now? Yeah, so the business is doing about 900K a month, 57% margins. It's we've got a massive team now, like 450 people in the, overseas. And then we've also got 10 people in the U.S. Nice. Um, in terms of like, I mean, yeah, I bought the house. Like it's everything's changed everything what's your confidence now you say that's pretty fucking high uh, what what did you weigh before i weighed 248 and what do you weigh now i'm at 200 wow five months luck can happen huh yeah for real though like it's no. everything's changed oh really I, seriously like, this is a working with you was a big spark to this whole thing look i mean obviously it's i can't for growth. I, i'll tell you this i'm i'm super proud of you obviously uh yeah and how old are you now 24 years old, you have a few million dollar house, a couple, couple nice cars, <laughs> All right. yeah, you know, girlfriend, beautiful girlfriend, you know, happy. Where's the puppy? You got a puppy, right? He's screaming downstairs. Oh, there's, a, there's, another, there's another story to this house, huh? <laughs> no, just, he, he wants to be here, but he, he needs to learn to be potty trained. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, you know, congratulations. Let's do dinner this week and uh, on me. You know? Right. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Appreciate it, man. Just want to stop by and check in. No, yeah, absolutely. Guys, Alex Martino for you. What I would recommend to you, no matter where you are in your life, if you want to get like the dream life, like I, I think it's cool to have cars, I think it's cool to have nice things, and, and I do enjoy them, <laughs> and they motivate me and they excite me, but it's not a priority. The priority you should have is to figure out one, how can I get the skills necessary, right? At first, before I bought all this stuff, I spent a lot of money educating myself, a lot of money figuring out how to sell, how to communicate. I learned a lot about hypnosis, about the mind, about persuasion, about influence, how to, how to really connect with others, right? So I highly recommend you invest in yourself, one. Two, then once you've got the skill set and you're confident in that, I would then start to build something, build the business, build something that makes you money. Every month that you know is gonna bring in money. Then once you have a sustainable income, then you can go spend money and do all the fun stuff, right? All these people that I meet that are around my age, I'm 23, are they going out, they're doing crazy amounts of drugs, they're partying, they're, they're doing all these things that are just totally destroying people's health, their mind. Don't do that. Don't fall in the trap of looking cool because I promise you, if you have fun now, you'll work hard later. If you work hard now, you'll have fun later. I still work hard, but now I have worked hard enough to where I can have fun. So it's really important that you do that. It's really important that you enjoy yourself and you find something you love. A lot of the times, people might get discouraged because you'll hear someone say, hey, you can't do that. You know, you don't know enough. You know, you're not good enough. When I first started this, they're like, you're too young. You'll never be good at this. It'll take you years to build up your business. You have to build up your credibility. Here's what I say to them. <laughs> Where's your McLaren? Where's your Mercedes? Where's your happiness? Where's your freedom? All the people that are telling me that work 40 hour weeks. Not only work 40 hour weeks, they, they barely make the bills, okay? Don't listen to people who aren't living the life you want. Make sure you're listening to people who do exactly what you wanna do and model them. I modeled people that I know work two, three hours a week and are multi-billionaires. I modeled people that are in my industry that are killing it. I modeled things that I wanted to do. I, I decided this is how many hours a week I wanna work, this is what I wanna do, this is what my life should look like, and that's exactly what I've created. Figure out what you wanna create, and that's exactly how you're gonna get it done. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this thing is so crazy fast. It's so fun. Later in the day, I film content either for YouTube, online courses, or in some cases, TV interviews. It just so happens that today I have a TV interview for German television. Now, I usually don't get too excited for these, but honestly, I was in a good mood, so <laughs> I was pretty happy to film today. Finally, when my work day ends, I usually hang out with some friends and I'm in bed by 10.30. But today, I decided I wanna go on a date. So, I went to one of my favorite restaurants, it's called Laurie's in Beverly Hills, and you can see here that I'm enjoying a lovely dinner.
So to finish my days, I actually like dessert. And I'm not talking about creme brulee. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> No, but for real, I, I really do like enjoying hanging out with my friends and, and enjoying the day that way. So, welcome to my day in the life. <laughs>